They say money can't buy you love, but maybe you can steal it. Yeah, the DOJ yesterday seizing more than $3.6 billion worth of stolen Bitcoin, arresting a married couple, Ilya Lichtenstein and Heather Morgan, accusing them of laundering the money for the past six years. That's a lot of laundering. The laundering lovers describe themselves as entrepreneurs, and Morgan even has a burgeoning side hustle as a rapper. Of course she does. Grandmother crocodile, weirder than an X file, free fire, ship silver, so sexy when I slither, sparkle on my little finger. Lock her up and throw away the key. Not for the crypto stuff, but just because of that. Uh, if that's not worth three billion, I don't know what it is. So, is crypto still a worthwhile investment, or are Bitcoin's Bonnie and Clyde ruining it for the rest of us? Joining me tonight is crypto super investor and entrepreneur Carl Runfeld. Hello, Carl. Carl has a Maybach. Yes, hello. Thank you so much for having me on. Are you from Holland? No, I'm from Sweden. <gasps> I love Sweden! Schwedska flickers! Woo! Um, okay, so let's talk about crypto, because a lot of people who watch the show still very much excited about it, but then they hear about these two ding-dongs, and they think, can I steal $3.6 billion in Bitcoin and get away with it? Well, first of all, I think it's very important to uh, to understand that this is not something. Uh, it's not a problem with Bitcoin. I mean, there are there are uh, bad rappers using cars to rob grocery stores out there. Probably that doesn't mean that cars are something we should ban or something that you shouldn't use. Mm -hmm. uh, the technology itself is neutral, and then people um, can, of course, use technology for the good or for the bad. And so. These people, they may have stolen Bitcoin, they may have had How did they steal um, it? Exchange. Actually, I don't know exactly how they did it, but I know for a fact that you cannot hack Bitcoin. You yeah. can hack exchanges, uh, which is a big difference. And I think that it's very important that everyone understands out there that you can hack YouTube, you can hack banks, you can hack literally any uh, you know, uh, internet uh, company out there, but you cannot hack Bitcoin, the blockchain is robust and um, and it's very, very secure. So were they hacking um, sites like uh, Coinbase and stuff? Because I keep getting Coinbase calls and I think they're fraudulent. Yeah, I just think it's very, very important to understand that Bitcoin cannot be hacked because I can see that all the time. Whenever there's an exchange that gets hacked, mm -hmm. I can see the headlines, Bitcoin hack, and then you see Bitcoin go down a couple of percent because people start selling. Yeah. And um, yeah, it just gets me frustrated that that uh, narrative gets uh, pushed. Well, they got nabbed. Uh, the federal government has a 95% conviction rate. So um, I don't think uh, they're in for a very happy future. But are those of us who are still excited about crypto, are things looking up for us? And what can we do to protect our investments if that is how we choose to engage? Yes, so I think the Bitcoin fundamentals are stronger than ever before. You nice. can see the Bitcoin hash rate is going up year yes. over year, uh, for sure. And Bitcoin is still the hardest money in the universe. There's mm -hmm. nothing else out there that can compare with the scarcity of Bitcoin. So anytime you see Bitcoin go down, that's just another opportunity to buy the dip. Buy I the keep dip! Buying. Yes, Every single time Bitcoin goes down, I keep buying. Yeah. Uh, I'm accumulating like a maniac, you may say, but so far it's been uh, paying out quite well. Do you like and gold I believe too? That Bitcoin in the... I, I did until I found out about Bitcoin. Actually, before Bitcoin, I was uh, a big physical gold and silver I gold. investor. I love it uh, all. But I switched to Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Bitcoin is much, much better than gold. It's much more um, scarce than gold. Do you like Ethereum? What should portable. you buy? If people are just buying crypto for the first time, what should they uh, What should they get? Okay, so I hold a bunch of Bitcoin, I hold a bunch of Ethereum, and I have invested in over 350 crypto startups in the past um, 24 months. Holy crap. So, um, yes, that's a lot. And, uh, Will you help me start show, my uh, own Kenna coin? Uh, the answer is no, but oh, great. Uh, thanks, Carl. Definitely. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Gracias por nada. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I would just say that I'm very, very bullish on the crypto industry. So not only Bitcoin. I mean, I, I know that this space, whether it's uh, DeFi, NFTs, mm -hmm. Metaverse, it is the future. So I have a huge exposure to crypto by investing yeah. all, in all of these crypto startups. But my my main portfolio. Uh, my liquid crypto net worth is still Bitcoin and um, actually Ethereum. Oh, solid. I like Ethereum as well. Uh, do you ever dance around on your yacht in a Speedo? 
Uh, the short answer is no, but um, I mean, you never know what happens in Dubai. The but night is young, Dubai, Carl. Dubai. The night is young. Yes. Thank you so much for your time, my dear. We'll talk again, hopefully. Thank you.